This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. First visit to the MTK Performance Centre of 2022. I'm joined by Lee McGregor. Uh, how was your Christmas and uh, New Year's, Lee? Yeah, it was good, mate. Really good. Um, just enjoyed it with the family. Nothing too exciting, but um, I enjoyed it as good as good. I've obviously Christmas was cancelled again, planning to fight early on this year, so um, I'm in training camp and ready, ready to go. Yeah, you most certainly are. I think there's only one place to start, really. Uh, I'm sure you had a nice break over Christmas and New Year's, but your mind and focus would have been on boxing. It would have been on that rematch with Cash Farouk. Obviously, last night we learned some shocking news that Cash Farouk were, has retired from boxing, which yeah. took everyone by surprise. Um, and you put out a really classy post uh, about it. What, what are your feelings about Cash retiring? Oh, I'm absolutely devastated. Firstly, I just want to send my best wishes to him. Um, like I, like I said last night, like I'm I'm here if I if I can help in any sort of way, um, whether we maybe potentially do something together like a night to fundraise some some money towards cash um, for for his future. Although like he's nothing's going to to take take that pain away from never being able to fight again. So um, I can't imagine how he's feeling, and um, just I want to wish him all the best. And I'm gutted for him. I really am. I'm gutted for myself. I'm gutted for him. I'm, Gutted for Scottish boxing, British boxing, it's, it's devastating, it really is. Yeah, absolutely is. We was looking forward to that rematch so much. You know, two of the most talented fighters by your man over there, Josh Taylor, that we've had from Scotland for a long while. Um, and, you know, you told me off camera that fight was practically done with you and Cash. So that would have been your focus. So how does this alter things for you, Lee? Yeah, definitely. And uh, you're right, the fight was done. Everyone was agreed. We were, it was set in stone for um, it was going to be happening in April. I was just speaking the other day about it happening and then I just got wind of what was going on and it's, it's just been a big blow um, for, for myself, obviously him, boxing, everybody, because we were all excited for that special night to come. And um, yeah, and like you just said there, my motivation and everything has just been dialed in onto that rematch. All, every single day I've been waking up and I've totally changed my mindset completely. Like, I'm just trying to improve myself in every single area as a fighter, um, educating myself as much as I can, and just to be the best version of myself. Because I know um, Cash gave me the best, the, the best fight in my career, the, the biggest fight in my career. He was giving me again another, the biggest one in my career. I believe we were going to go on and maybe have three, four amazing fights, um, and ha we, ha we had an amazing rivalry that. Um, British boxing are really intrigued in and, and really anticipating the rematch. So I've just been focused on that and nothing really changes for me in terms of motivation and, and I'm, I'm dialed in and my focus is still exactly the same because I know um, one door closes and another door opens and, and I'm going to get a big opportunity um, this year regardless. And like I said, um, it's, it's heartbreaking, but I've just got to look at it um, and as positive as I can. I've still got my career. Like, look, it could be a lot worse. Cash, his, his career's unfortunately over, um, so I, I can't even, I can't, I can't dwell on it and and be down because I could be a hell of a lot worse. So I'm just grateful that I'm still fit and healthy, and I hope Cash is as well. Um, I hope his health and everything is is in place, and that, that that's the main thing. I don't know the ins and outs everything yet, but the most important thing is health. So as long as he's healthy, then. I'm sure um, I'm sure he'll be all right. He's got good people around him. He's got a good team. His trainer Craig Dixon, Ian Wilson, his manager St Andrews Sporting Club up in Scotland. They're all great people. So I'm sure Cash will be well looked after. Great words, Lee. Just to close off, then you said that you know, even though this is a, a negative situation, positives can come out of it, and other doors do open. So could that other door potentially be a route to a world title shot for maybe kind of the first half of this year, Lee? I'm I'm open to any challenge, and I've said that for a long time, and it's been been that case my whole career. And I believe I will challenge for a world title this year, whether it be early summer, late summer, winter, whatever it may be. Um, I'll I'll take that opportunity. Uh, it's just about being patient. I like to say I've got, as well as Cash, has got great people around me. I've got an amazing people around me as well. I've got the best team possible. I think um, Probellum sort of guiding my career, and then we've got the co-promotional deal with Matchroom still in place. And I believe with them two working together, they will come up with the best plan for me. And if that's that's could be eliminators or uh, who knows what might happen. Uh, there's big fights there though. There's big fights. I know there's Paul Butler's in and around there. That's a big um, British fight. He's had just had a fight fell through with Casemiro. My big fights obviously fell through. That could be a potential fight, British Commonwealth, European. I'd be more than more than happy to do that. Um, although it's not my choice, and I've I've got um, 
a team around me to make them decisions for me. I believe Casemiro and Butler probably will still happen. And um, if I maybe get an opportunity to win of that, then, then I'd be excited for that. But I'm just focused on training. I'm just f training hard, improving myself every single day. And whenever I get that opportunity, I'll be ready. Lee McGregor, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Safe flight back to Scotland tonight. And uh, we hope to get a word with you soon. All right, top man. Thanks, mate. Thank you.